I want to show you how to, to change the device ID using app crona. Let's open, click here. App Krona is a very good app whereby you can choose the app that you want to change the device ID so that whenever you open that app, whoever is monitoring it will not see the device ID of your mobile phone. So we start, for example, I want to crown my Mozilla. I want to crown my Mozilla Firefox because when you're using AdMob, you need to crown your VPN, you need to crown your browser, and you need to crawl your earning app. So let's start with the browser. I'll show you how it's done. Come to Firefox. There's crawl number here. Let's say you want crown number two because I have already crowned again. So I want to number this one number two like that. That's okay. Then change the name. I want it to be F C L two to signify my crown number two since I to dare to crown again. After that, you change the you can you can change the icon color to dif not differentiate the number of crowns you have done. You can put it like that to be different or like that. You can change various colors. Just put it like that. yeah like that press ok then you go to privacy options the privacy options you go to change android id change android id select generate new random id during each cloning process that enable change IME or AMS you can choose random or hide but in this case I will choose hide for IME ME ID ESM hide IMSI also hide press OK hide sim operator it's OK you can take it Hard Wi-Fi, if you're in case of using Wi-Fi, you want to hide your Wi-Fi address. Then, randomize build props. This prevents from someone fingerprinting your phone information, like the manufacturer, model, and device etc. This also hides the user agent sent by web view. So, we enable we enable it then I think we are good randomize build ups hide Wi-Fi hide sim and operator info change IME I M E I M S I change under ID we are good then storage options you say Clear catch on exit. Yes. Then go to developer options. Under developer option, you change the Android version. You can put any number. But I'll put number seven. 
android version okay, put number seven can change here anything, anything you want just play around then you press ok then press ok then build props here you can edit anything or put mt2 one mt two one mt two one mt two one mt two one just edit in the way mt two one Change even fingerprint to one, then you press OK. And one more thing, you should go back to the storage options. I forget, I forgot one thing. Storage options. And now, storage options. You should choose redirect external storage. So that your apps can be stored in either DCIM documents or download DTC. It, it can be stored there after you finish making it. So enable it here. Especially, but this one is most useful when when dealing with Mozilla Firefox. Yes, now I think we are ready. After that, you press this brew. This blue blue button at the top right corner of your screen. Then your build will start. Your build, the, yeah. Uh, you do that carefully. You note that this app builder, app app, uh, this app crawler. There are some apps which can it cannot be effective, such as Google account logins. Google Play services, Google Maps will not work, but any other app can be cloned. So you press OK, then the cloning process starts. It might take one hour, it can it might take 20 minutes, sorry, 20 10 minutes, 5 minutes, depending the the capacity of your app. So duration varies depending on the particular app. And then your internet has to be on, your data has to be on for this to work. Now you wait for the build to be complete. Thank you. 